Okay, it's Stephen here, and I thought I'd give you a update on the status of my homemade spirit box. I am using an Arduino as a micro controller to control the TEA5767 radio module. It has a built-in amplifier and a uh, socket for an antenna and I obviously don't use the antenna these are just some external speakers I have and I use a digital recorder just to like make a record of anything so it's easier to upload I have an LCD to show me the frequency it's on and the scan method through the frequencies. This is just a USB 5 volt power supply that powers everything apart from these speakers because they have their own batteries in. I have a knob here that controls the speed at which we go through. You'll be able to hear the clicking alter as well because every time it changes frequency it clicks. And just here, little finger gun, just here is where you can change the way it sweeps through the frequency scale. I did have a switch on there, but as you can see, it just couldn't cope. It just couldn't cope with the gnarliness. So at the moment we're on a, a random where it just randomly jumps around the scale as you can see, let me slow it down so you can and just here I will replace this with a rotary switch but this acts as the switch at the moment Now you can see we're going in a re reverse sorting. Again, I can speed it up. What this will do is start at 108 and then go backwards down to 76 and then start at 108 again. Then we have forward sawtooth, which is exactly the same, but it starts at 76 and goes up to 108 and then drops back down to 76. When that gets up to 108, it should drop back down to 76. And then we have the triangle that will go up. Did I miss the hole? Yeah. The resistance is a bit dodgy on this triangle, so I might have to change the resistance, but I can always re reset. Now we're on the triangle, and what this does. It will go from 76 up to 108 and then back down to 76. Speed that up. And it's going back down again. Just to explain a bit better, this is what we're on now, the triangle. It'll go from 76 up to 108, back down to 76, uh, sort of, yeah, triangle. Down to 76, up to 108, back down to 76. 
This is the forward saw two seventy six up to one oh eight. Seventy six up to one oh eight. This is the reverse saw tooth. Starts at one oh eight down to seventy six. One oh eight seventy six. But the weight's going through the frequency is in steps, which is what these clicks you can hear. If this is time and this is frequency, what's happening is it will stay on a certain frequency, jump up by an amount, stay on that frequency for a certain amount of time, jump up, stay on it, and this little finger on again. This there, this, the amount of time it stays on a specific frequency, is what you're controlling with this. So that will go like click, stay, click, stay, click, stay. And then I can obviously speed it up. And the random one will just jump around the frequency scale. Oh, I had a voice then. So that's it, I just thought I'd uh, give you the SP on what the score is. It needs tidying up, the code needs optimising, and it needs mounting in a box. This needs to be removed and replaced with a circuit board, so all these resistors are permanently fixed. It's absolutely chucking it down with rain. Yeah. This is just a simple potential divider that sends a voltage to an analogue input on the Arduino and based on that input is whether or not the program executes the triangle, forward, sawtooth, reverse, sawtooth or random. So I can change it back to reverse sawtooth. And there you go, that's it. Any more updates and I'll let you know. Ciao.